Hi there, I'm Dr. Lissa, and today we're going to be taking care of some patients that are contra bass bars. If when you play your contra bass bars, they sound like a thud and there's not much resonance going on, to the point where you might as well be hitting a cardboard box, then you need to know what I'm about to share with you. For this project, you will need the replacement parts, which you can order from your favorite real retailer. Uh, they come in two sizes, one for the larger contra bars and one for the smaller ones. The main difference is the thickness of the felt pad underneath the support. You'll also need a 5 16 inch nut driver, a putty knife, a razor blade, a flashlight so you can see what's inside the box when you clean it out, some rags, gloves to protect your hands when you use the old English scratch cover for dark wood that's for the for the bar and then you can polish the box the resonator box with Scott's liquid gold scratch cover it's uh, great it will make it look like new if you find that there's a crack in the resonator box you are also going to need some wood glue a straw and a clamp to tighten it up when you glue it. A couple of the boxes we're working with today will need this kind of treatment, so we'll have everything we need on hand just in case. You might also want to have on hand some Goo Gone for when you remove the old supports. There's going to be some adhesive there that you want to clean up before you start putting in the new parts. So let's begin. So take your nut driver and remove the nuts that are holding the bar on. This is really easy to do. And then lift the bar off. We're going to clean that up and polish it up later. It has a couple of felt washers in it. It should just pop out. And ooh, look at this. This red rubber. It's kind of sticky, so it's been there a long time. So the next thing you want to do is remove this bar support. It was once white and flexible and lovely, and now it is yellow and hard and nasty. And that's the reason your bar isn't making the sound it should. Oh yeah kind of pry it out of there. Take a look at that. It is hard as a rock. It just snaps in two. Here's what they look like when they're new. Nice and white and flexible. So then there's a felt pad that also needs to be removed. You could leave it, but it also has been compressed over time and it's probably not doing the kind of job that it should. So just pry up the felt pad and the rubber support. Take a look at that. That is old and hard and ugly and brittle. No wonder it didn't sound good. This is what they're supposed to look like. Well, the new ones. Nice and flexible. They do a great job of supporting that bar. So we want to really get the rest of this cleaned up. So what I'm going to do is put a little goo gone on a rag and just moisten the area where that adhesive was and let the goo gone do the work so I don't have to. And we'll come back to that in a couple of minutes and scrape it off. In the meantime, let's take a look at this bar and get it cleaned up. This we're going to use the old English scratch cover for dark wood and here's where your gloves come in handy because this will stain your skin, it will stain your clothes, it will stain your carpet. So you want to be a little careful of it. Just put a little bit on your rag and wipe it down. Oh, 
Oh, you can almost hear this bar going, ooh, ah. I've been waiting for a long time for this. Then wipe off the excess with a clean, soft rag. And I don't know about your students, but mine often have a hard time seeing that letter. So I'm going to take a fine point metallic pen. You can use silver or gold. I'm using silver today. And just the, the tip of the pen fits perfectly into that groove. And you can remark the letter. And then the kids will actually know what they're playing. Okay, let's see how our adhesive removal is going. With the putty knife, you should be able to just scrape off what's left of that residue. And if that doesn't work, you can put more goo gone on, wait longer. It really should just come off. Or you can very, very carefully take a razor blade and work on it. And you don't want to damage the wood. So we're just taking off the stickiness that's left behind by that old felt. There we go. Now it's time to take a look inside and see what's been lurking inside of this box. Ooh, I see hair and dust bunnies and spider webs. I actually took a pencil out of one of these yesterday. Pencil was removed as a clue. It says first graders are number one. What does that tell you? So this will be noisy, but I'm going to take the vacuum and see how much of that dust and hair and grodiness I can get out from there. Ah, that's much better. Okay, before we put the bar back on, I'm going to take a look at the resonator box and make sure that there are no cracks anywhere. I don't believe there are in this one. The next one we're going to look at has a crack. So, with a clean rag, you take your Scott's Liquid Gold and just polish the, bar, the, the box all the way around. This not only cleans the wood, but it'll take any scratches out make it look like new, take away that dust that's been building up underneath the bars you can't get to. I'm just going to double check on this adhesive now that it's soaked in a little bit longer. That's the secret of Goo Gone. Put it on and leave it. Don't rush it, and then it does the work instead of you. You don't take these apart very often, so when you do, you might as well do it right. Okay, time to install the new hardware. It comes in a little package like this. You need most of what's in the package. If these Screws are doing fine. I see no reason to remove them and replace them. So you begin with the bar support. And it has the felt pad already glued on. And for this, you just take off a little protective paper and fit it over the screw and press it down right where the old one came off. The hardest part about this is getting this paper off.
Okay, the next thing is removing the washers and the orange tubing from the new screw that you really can live without. Put these somewhere where you can get at them if you ever should need them. And then replacing the bar. It's a little bit of a tight fit over that orange rubber. There we go. And there are two white felt washers. Here they are hiding. And then the nut goes back on with the nut driver. There we go. Now we test it out. The rattling you're hearing is from all these cleaning products on this metal table. So there you have it, cleaning up and restoring a contrabass bar.